guys, it's Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today in the PCT test lab, we are testing Aileen's Jewelry Pendant Gel on polymer clay. Now, as you know, I like to test different products on polymer clay to see how they're compatible. And this is an interesting one that I found at Michael's. I actually found it in the glue section along with the Mod Podge and the other types of glues and things. And what it is, is a clear gel that you can add to different, uh, well, it's meant for pendants, but I've used it on a sample of baked Primo clay. Um, I've got a little bit of, um, gold leaf on it and I thought I'd just test it out. Now I put it on here back in December 29th of 2013. So it's been sitting on here for more than a month and that's just to see if it's going to be compatible over time. Now there's a few interesting things about it. First of all it's very very shiny and um, it's quite flexible. As you can see here, I'm bending my piece and I'm not seeing any cracking or flaking or peeling. So that's a good sign. Um, it's also compatible over the time that it's been sitting on here. There's, it hasn't become sticky or anything like that. Um, I put two coats on it and I noticed that it um, flows out fairly flat. I think if I wanted it to be really um, flat, especially on this dimensional piece here, I would have probably put three coats on or a thicker coat in the first place. The thing I noticed about it is that the surface is a little bit soft. It's not quite the same or as hard as a resin coating. Um, if I press my fingernail into it, it will, like if I push really hard, I don't know if the camera will pick up on it or not, but there is, it will leave a dent. Though I have noticed if it sits for a while, it seems to kind of work its way out. Um, so it doesn't leave a really uh, strong dent in there for very long. So um, it looks like it'll wear quite well. I'm not positive whether it'll make a perfect uh, solution for a bead coating just because um, it may uh, get dented up or scratched up. But I'm going to test that a little bit further and see how that comes along. But I'm excited about it. It seems like it would be a really great uh, product to use for, uh, for example, like if you're making a miniature, maybe a little bowl of soup and it has little pieces of miniature carrots and things in it. This would make a great clear liquid for something like that or like a cup of coffee or something like that. Um, I'd like to play with it a little bit more and see where we can use it and see if it can be tinted or anything like that. But if so far, it, it it's really neat. Now I'll just show you uh, about it. It's a, it comes out of the bottle here. A, it's a, like a gel, so it's not super runny and you can put it on quite thick. It's fairly clear to start off with. I've just got a sample here, another piece of that same, um, piece of clay bait clay with the gold leaf on it it's not super runny so it doesn't just run all over the place I've got a little pin here where I can just pull it out to the edges of the piece now if it's inside a bezel it would um, fill the bezel quite nicely and easily it takes about 24 hours to set up and um, be quite hard if you've put a thin coating on, you could put another coating on after the 24 hours. I wouldn't rush um, putting another coating on. Never do that with any, um, any finish that you're doing. Don't rush and put a second coat on because sometimes this, the first layer won't have had a chance to uh, set very well if you, if you rush your second coating. And um, anyways, we're just pulling it out to the edge and it, it sets quite nicely and like I said it will um, flow out and level itself. Uh, if there's any bubbles you can pop them with a pin. I wouldn't use a lighter or anything. I haven't tested that like you do on the other resins to pop bu bubbles. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. The nice thing about this product is there's no smell. It's non-toxic so it would be a safe uh, alternative to resin, especially if you're working with someone with high sensitivities or children or something like that. I'm enjoying it and I would like to do more experimenting with it and see what other kinds of things can be done with it. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I'd love to he uh, hear from you if you like this video. 
And also, if you have suggestions for other products you'd like me to test or techniques or things that you're having problems with, please leave those in the comment section below. So we'll see you next time and bye for now.